what up my fellow virgos we're gonna be doing a reading for you about the people in your life currently how they are viewing you how the people in your life currently are viewing you at this time i've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is so let's just begin i'd like to thank everybody for those likes comments subscribes booking those personal readings and just being here and giving me your good good energy Bottom of the deck, we have financially unstable. The people around you could think that you are financially unstable at this time. Long hair, don't care. They could think you don't care about this. They could also be like envious, jealous of your features, your beauty, something that you um, hold that they don't have. Okay. This financial stability could be mental, physical instability, instability as well. Virgo. People in Virgo's life. Who's in Virgo's energy currently? You have the high priestess. Okay. Um, there's um, there's somebody in your life currently who looks at you as a high priestess. All right. Um, somebody who is spiritually inclined. Somebody here who uh, does stuff with spirituality in some type of way, Virgo. They feel like you know things about them that you shouldn't. Um, they don't know how you know these things. They feel like you get intuitive downloads in some type of way. How does this person feel about Virgo? We have separation in divine masculine energy. All right, this person could also feel like they are a high priestess. Okay, I just got that download as well. Um, we have cutting out, letting go, and wanting change. This person um, feels like you know when to cut off people. You know when to let go. You know when to separate from somebody to gain your own happiness and clarity and success here. Or this person um, knows that you know something about them and that's why you cut them off, Virgo. Um, there's something about you cutting people off once you get some type of clarity from the divine. How does this person feel about Virgo? We have the King of Cups. This person is holding back their feelings from you, but they have some type of love for you. We have the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to come towards you with a love offer here. Eight of Wands, they want to pick up the pace with you. They want to have that excitement. But you could have cut them off, Virgo, because of things that you've known about them. They don't know how you know this about them, but whatever you know about them caused conflict because you figured out their secrets. You figured out that they were betraying you. You figured out that they were deceiving you in some type of way. Six of Wands. This information, you this with this information, Virgo, you were able to succeed. Um, you were able to succeed in separating from somebody who didn't have good intentions for you. You succeeded in knowing their true intentions when they were trying to hide it. And I feel like they feel you are publicly recognized for your intuition, the things that you know and the things that you get intuitive downloads about. Five of Pentacles and Three of Wands. Page of Cups. Virgo, this person feels left out in the cold. They feel like you are a very cold, distant person. They feel like you have publicly left them out in the cold here. They feel like you have turned your back against them. And with the Page of Cups here, they do feel like you are going towards other offers. You are going towards other people, other lovers. This is a past lover. This is somebody who has love for you. This is somebody who watches you. This is somebody who's upset that you can see clarity in a way that made you cut them off. We're moving on. Who else is in Virgo's energy? There is that long hair, don't care. All right, somebody in your energy feels like you don't care about something or someone here, Virgo. They feel like you um, may hold your, your self-care. Um over caring about them all right so if you like to do a lot of self-care take care of your hair your beauty um something here this person feels like you don't care about them but you care about your image they could be thinking that you're vain <laughs> i heard you're so vain 
you probably think the song is about you, about you. I can write you a song that make you fall in love. I would already have you up under my arm. Um, when that song came out, there could have been something about the era that song came out, when that the year that song came out, that could be significant. How does this person feel about Virgo? Oh yeah, they feel like you are two-faced, okay? They feel like they have conflicting um, feelings about you, good and bad here, um, because you may care about vanity or your public image more than you care about fixing things with somebody. Be of right or wrong, fight for the greater good, put away differences and thirst for revenge. Somebody feels like you're two-faced and um, <laughs> you don't care about righting or wrong, you would rather get revenge or put away this energy somebody feels like um they have good and bad experiences with you with trying to just fight for the good good of all or for the greater good so if somebody in your energy wanted to like um fix things with you uh, they could feel like you don't care about that but you care if somebody was like talking shit about your image all right um They feel like you are being two-faced and you have a thirst for revenge. This person also feels like you're creating unnecessary drama and that they could easily right or wrong with you, but you don't care. This person also feels like you care about your hair more than them. This could be a bald person, okay? I'm getting that image because there's a lot of faces here, but there's no hair. There's no hair attached to these faces. Somebody really could have some type of, or feel some type of way about your appearance. Who is this energy for Virgo? Ten of Wands. Okay, so with the Ten of Wands, somebody feels like you would take, you would sacrifice maybe for your hair, your vanity, your life here, but you're not willing to fix things with somebody else. You have a lack of faith, despair, and self-criticism towards other things. So somebody may be like, you will sure take the responsibility. You're so burdened for yourself and burdened for how you look. But when it comes to fixing a situation, um, amending something with somebody, renewing something with them, you don't have faith in that person. You don't have faith in something. They could be feeling like you're causing them a lot of burdens and stress because you aren't you aren't trusting them in some type of way. You think about them in a despair mindset, Virgo. With the Nine of Swords in the reverse, they could be very exhausted. They can feel like you're very exhausting, okay, dealing with you. And dealing with you uh, is, <laughs> it doesn't work. Trying to get you to right or wrong is not going to work. They have no results in this, Um they're not prepared to deal with somebody who isn't willing to right a wrong here, who isn't willing to put away their differences, who isn't willing to change their mindset. They feel like once you made up your mind about something, you just burden and um, make it hard for everybody else around you because you don't care about them. You just care about yourself here. Uh, this could be somebody very close to you, Virgo. They have a lot of feelings about you. the five of swords and the two of wands ten of cups and the four of wands this could definitely be a family member or somebody you have a family with they have conflict virgo they feel like you're trying to win at all costs in the future that you don't care about um, making things right right now you don't care about the greater good of everybody else you just want your future to be good and with the ten of cups and the four of wands it's almost like you're only caring about your family, your happiness, your fulfillment, your security, your home, what you celebrate, your security, your support, your structure. You don't care about other people's Virgo. You are very two-faced in that way.
We have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. You're also blocking somebody from fixing this problem. They feel like your behavior, your unwillingness to change is blocking somebody from making a decision, uh, from making difficult decisions, from fixing things, Virgo. Excuse me. This may not be true, okay? These are just people's feelings about you. Please do not shoot the messenger in the comments, okay? Okay, we're moving right along from this energy. Somebody has a lot to say about you, Virgo, and it's not good at all. We're going to do one more. Who else is in Virgo's energy? And what do they have to say about Virgo? It's the homie. We got a friend coming up here. We got a homie coming out here for your energy, Virgo. What does the homie feel about Virgo? You could be, they could be feeling like you're their homie, you're their friend. Okay, you may have grown up with this person. They could also be feeling, I'm getting the, the, the download that you're a homebody. Okay, you like to stay in the home. All right, you are hermit, right? You may not have a lot of friends. You may not do a lot of things, Virgo, outside of leaving your house. You don't do anything. <laughs> uh, what does this person have to say about Virgo? We got freedom, direction, and sexual energy. Don't want it to pop out immediately, but I'm not taking it. We have control, okay? Now we have lust and sex. So the same lustful energy came out, even though I didn't take that last card. It came out again. So I do feel like this person uh, feels some type of sexual way, sexual way about you. Too many cards here. I'm going to do a quick shuffle in case those cards want to come out again. person feel about Virgo? Wow. Okay. So, look, this person um, doesn't really want you to know how they feel about you. Okay. So, there's a lot I have to put back. There's a lot about um, it hiding, running away. It could be running away from their feelings for you. All right. So, at this time, this person feels like they have to control themselves when they're around you. Okay. They feel like you're a friend, Virgo. And they have to control their lustful sexual energy around you because they don't want to destroy things with you. They know they would have to destroy the friendship before they were build something sexual with you. This is the type of person who is trying to go with the flow. They are trying to accept it, Virgo. They feel, that, okay, this is how they feel about you. They feel like they have to go with the flow and accept things because you control your lustful energy, all right? Um, you have natural movement with your friends and the people you have sex with. I feel like those lines don't cross, don't meet. Um, this person feels like you have a magnetism, a pull that pulls them in sexually. And if they go with the flow that maybe they could get you sexually, if they provide no resistance, maybe they could get you sexually. Maybe they feel like you're the one who is sexually attracted to them. This person feels like you have control over how things move sexually and naturally in this relationship. Maybe you're the person who is in charge of the relationship in some type of way. How does this person feel about Virgo? The Emperor. All right, with the Emperor energy, they could be a father figure, okay? Um, could have children with this person or they could have children in some type of way. They could be an authority figure, a boss. This could be a boss that you friend zoned. The World Card. Eight of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo. They feel like something was done be between you. All right. Um, so at this point, at the at one point, Virgo, they may feel like 
that you hold this position. I'm getting that, the, that you hold this position with the Emperor card. You're the one who's in control, okay? You're the one who brings the structure. You're the one who um, dictates whether the relationship is sexual or just friendly here. With the World card, you have ended maybe having sex with this person. Maybe you have ended something here. You completed something in some type of way. And with the Eight of Cups, you have walked away from preserving things. All right, working hard on things. Um, working hard on this relationship or the sexual relationship between you two. So Virgo, they feel like you're in charge. And if you don't want to have sex with them, you can't can have sex. If you have walked away and closed that chapter when thinking about them sexually, um, you've walked away. You're the one who's in control. They have no resistance. They can't do anything about it. But wait, there'd be, <laughs> they're, they're flowing with it. Okay, this is the energy of somebody who knows that you're not working hard to get them back. But they feel like if they just go with the flow and have no resistance that they can still be a homie okay that they can still possibly have this um energy with you three of pentacles oh yeah seven of wands okay 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 Okay, with the three of pentacles and the seven of wands, they're feeling like you are not working on a situation. You've walked away from working on something, Virgo, working on collaborating with them, teaming up with them. This could be sexually or physically. Seven of wands, they could be feeling like you're protecting your energy at this time from them. With the ten of swords and the six of cups, there was a painful ending between you two in the past here. And they're hoping that this is mediated all right six of swords they're hoping that this is this turns into a transition this is why this person is trying to be fluid with you <laughs> okay this is why this person is trying to go with the flow here because they feel like eventually they can um transition into a new phase with you eight of swords this is somebody who is restricted by you by your movement by your control by your leadership by your authority this is somebody who looks at you sexually um, I don't know if they love you, Virgo. Ace of Cups, yeah, they love you. They want a new relationship with you here. Um, but they feel like they're imposed, they're restricted by your control, what you want, what you're doing here. All they can do is team up with you, okay? Collaborate in whatever you want to collaborate in. Be around you whenever you want it and go with the flow with you. This is somebody here who cannot force things, will not force things. Um, and hoping that if they go with the flow naturally with you, that you two transition back into that magnetism to come back sexually to to ends meeting. The ends meeting. Uh, magnets can be very significant, okay? And um, to ends meeting. This could be like a same sexual, same sex relationship in some type of way. Um, <laughs> I just heard bump nasties. Anyway, <laughs> somebody is uh, very sexual. Okay, they they hold a lot of sexual energy. They think you are very attractive. You're just you're just a homie though. All right, they can't just come at you with this love energy, even though they want to. Virgo, they don't want. They're trying to have discipline. While well, King of Swords, they're trying to have discipline and self control here. They're hoping that they eventually amend this energy with you. If they have enough self control here, there's somebody who will not, won't force you in any type of way, can't force you in any type of way. And the Moon card, they're waiting for you to illuminate that energy, waiting for you to be like, all right, it's time. Queen of Cups, waiting for you to offer your love, Virgo. And with the, what is that? The Knight of Wands. Heavy sexual energy, waiting for you to illuminate your love. Come towards them with the Knight of Cups here. Look at you like an empress. I can't make this up. Just beautiful, shining, body rotest. Okay, rotest. You could have a rotest body. Okay, in some type of way. I don't know why I said rotest. Rotest, big body. Okay, you could be. Um, 
you could be a little thick on the thicker side right now, Virgo, with the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who thinks that you have it all, Five of Swords, but they have to fight themselves from working hard, from doing too much here, Virgo. They got to temperance themselves with you, but oh, baby, they want it here. This is causing tower, okay? A tower for somebody who wants to be loyal and dedicated with you. They want to have a home in a relationship with you, but right now they know they have to miss out in order uh, because they are... They they can't be the ones who rejuvenate. They can't be the ones who um, <laughs> bring this together. Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. They're waiting for you to bring that. Bring that poom poom over here. <laughs> They're waiting for you to back that poom poom up. They're waiting for you to back that thing up, Virgo. They're waiting for you to for you to say something, okay? And they're going to continue to wait as a friend. They're willing to be a homie. <laughs> Virgo, if you resonated with anything here, please leave me a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next with the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.